Hi, I'm Dr. Scott. Now the purpose of this video is we want to give you a brief overview of what we'll be discussing with you and your spouse or your significant other in your report of findings today. Now, you spent the whole first visit with me. We did a complete neurological examination. We did some orthopedic tests. We may or may not have taken some x-rays. We've checked your brain, your spinal cord, and your nerves. And we did a complete uh, history. And all that was designed to see if you were in the right place or not. Uh, we have a great program. We hope you are a candidate for the program because it truly is life-changing. Um, our focus with all the patients that we accept into care is we want to reinvent your life. We want to change your life and change is possible. We do this life-changing care day in, day out, but we have to make sure that you're in the right place first. And we only accept in the patients that we truly think that we can actually help. Now, so the first thing we're going to be discussing with you is the positive findings on your orthopedic and neurological testing. We'll discuss any findings that we found on your x-rays. We'll go through any metabolic forms that you may have filled out that we haven't discussed with you prior. And uh, we'll go over any uh, blood lab work that you brought in uh, for us to evaluate. So we'll discuss all those with you. Now, based on the history, the examination, We've, we usually have enough information to determine if you're a candidate for our program or not. Now just a reminder, we usually have about 60, 50 to 60 applications for care on a normal month and we only can accept 10 to 12, maybe you know, 14 new patients per month. And so we are very selective of who we accept in as patients and uh, we hope that uh, you are one of them and that we can actually help you and your family. Um, so with that said, basically what's going to happen is if we accept your case, we will discuss with you the exact or precise procedures that we'll be doing with you. So for example, most cases that we see have a combination of a neurological problem and a metabolic problem. So with that said, uh, not everybody has a neurological problem and not everybody has a metabolic problem or uh, stuff on the inside that's affecting uh, this, the, the symptoms that you may be having. Uh, but a vast majority of the cases, 80 plus percent, have both uh, problems there that we have to address. So I'm going to quickly address some of the things that we may do with you if we end up uh, accepting either your metabolic or your neurological side. So let's talk about the, uh, the neurological treatment that we may do if we accept your case. So first off, uh, based on your x-rays or maybe MRI findings or from your clinical examination, we found that you may have a herniated disc, you may have some spinal stenosis or some kind of foraminal compression. Um, in that case, we may recommend a course of what we call non-surgical spinal decompression. It's a way that basically it's a special table hooked up to a computer and what it does is it actually separates the vertebrae uh, uh, the vertebrae in your back or your neck to give them more, more disc space. Allows, allows you to absorb nutrients and uh, hydrate the discs and you absorb oxygen because we do that procedure with oxygen as well. Um, like I said, we'll discuss that with you if you end up, uh, if we need to do that procedure with you or not. Next procedure, we may be doing a cold laser. Now we do this cold laser on uh, people with neck pain, back pain, if you came to see me for uh, knee problems. Um, or peripheral neuropathy. We see that, uh, and basically it's good for pain, it's good for inflammation, and it, what it also does, it gets down to the actual cellular level and actually forces those cells to kind of divide. And it's kind of a regenerative process. Very, very good technique. And depending on where the problems are, we may recommend cold laser. Now, if we found that you have some problems with the brain, you know, which means really in your neurological exam, what we're looking for with the brain exam is, is we're comparing the left side of your brain to the right side of your brain. We wanted to see if you have any kind of imbalances there. If we found that there were some imbalances there, uh, then we'll recommend a course of brain-based therapy. Brain-based therapy is just a, there's a lot of ways that we can actually uh, treat you uh, with the brain-based therapy. A couple of them, for example, be we have some eye lights that shine at a certain frequency, at a certain rate, at a certain part of your eye to stimulate a, per, uh, a different part of your brain. We may take you through eye movements. It could be vibration therapy or spin therapy. We may do some calorics. Um, there's a lot of different ways, uh, but most of the time what will happen is, is when the patient comes in, we'll, we'll take a test that maybe they weren't able to perform in their exam, maybe their finger to the nose test, for example. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll do some stimulation and then we'll recheck them to see if they're any better or not. Uh, most of the patients walk out knowing that their brain function improved um, and they're doing much better than when they first came in. So that's the brain-based therapy. 
We, uh, the PNTP is the Peripheral Neuropathy Treatment Program. So if you have any numbness, tingling, burning in your hands or in your feet or something of that nature, that is nerve damage. And what this procedure or that particular protocol is designed to repair the damage to your nerves. Bioinjections. We may do injections in your feet, maybe in your back, your neck. They're just little needles that we use. Uh, not everybody gets these, but it may be something we recommend. Um, almost all the procedures we do, we do it with oxygen, oxygen therapy. It means you're going to heal faster. Your brain, your nerves need oxygen to survive and to thrive. And we, that's why we do everything almost with oxygen. And last thing, there may be some other procedures that we don't have listed here that we'll do. Okay? So that's what we do on the neurological side. Now, if we end up doing any metabolic treatment with you, um, and again, 80 plus percent of my patients, almost, not to say everybody, but a lot get this, um, what we need is more information. We need to find out what's going on on the inside. And the only way to really know that is actually to do the test to find out. So here's some uh, tests that we generally do on a lot of our new patients. The first one here is a general blood work. It's actually 81 different markers. It's about nine vials of blood. It is A to Z. Okay? It really gives you a lot of information on uh, what's going on in the system on the inside. The next test we do is usually hormone, hormone testing, and it's a saliva test. Uh, the hormones we're checking there are cortisol, DHEA, insulin, progesterone. Um, so there's hormones there, and the reason why it's a saliva test and not a blood test is because, for example, cortisol is a dynamic hormone, which means it should be high in the morning, it should slowly work out and be low at night. So if you do a blood test, all it tells you is what that cortisol level was right that second. But it doesn't tell you what you were in the morning or what you were in the afternoon. That's why it's a saliva test and you do four readings in the day. Okay? That way we get what they call the circadian rhythm so we see what's going on there. Uh, the other test we do is we check uh, all of our patients for leaky gut which means uh, your gut uh, has little holes and your food and bacteria can spill into your bloodstream then it circulates throughout the whole body the body reacts to it then you have inflammation and then you can have pain just about anywhere uh, but it also can cause some autoimmune reactions as well uh, this is a huge huge uh, problem that we're seeing in a lot of our patients and it could be the very source of why you're seeing me uh, because that's the cause of your symptoms but we'll find that out through the testing We'll also check to see if you have any uh, food allergies or food sensitivities. The one big one we, we check a lot is wheat, but we may check gluten. I mean, sorry, wheat or gluten is the same thing, but dairy, soy, eggs, those kind of things. We may check those too. But we gear all of, uh, all of our programs for you individually. And then basically what we do here is we'll take what we find in your blood work. Uh, we'll tell you exactly what tests you need done, and then I'll sit down with you on a later date and discuss the blood work, explain it to you, and then whatever we find in your blood work, we'll have to prioritize the problems that we find. So it may be that we have a blood sugar problem we're dealing with, or maybe you have a thyroid uh, problem called Hashimoto's disease, maybe you have an autoimmune condition, maybe you have fatty liver, uh, maybe you've got some you know, high cholesterol or, or something, uh, or leaky gut, or a cortisol problem. What we do is we have natural proven protocols that will address the problems within the systems that we find. So for example, you know, if you have a leaky gut, uh, it's a four to six week program to actually fix the leak in your gut. There's certain products you'll need to take. Uh, it could be a cream, could be a powder, could be a supplement. Okay? But it's designed for a clinical outcome. So if we're doing a metabolic program, you're not going to be on 50,000 supplements when you're done with us. Uh, that's not healthy either. However, um, there is certain products you'll get for a certain time and then we'll be done with them. Okay? And then we take you through a protocol. Now, most of our programs will be three to six months. Those are the uh, most popular ones. Sometimes we see patients longer, sometimes it's less. But how we handle the fee structure in our office is basically I do a, what they call a case fee, which means I will sit down with you and you'll pay me for a set period of time. So we may be doing every procedure up here, but what I do is I discount all my fees and I have you, we have one set price basically, and you pay the fee and then you're done. Uh, the nice thing with that is we focus on getting you better, which means if we have to do more procedures with you, it doesn't cost you any more money, okay? So it's already part of that whole uh, cost. Uh, maybe we need to see you more visits during that time frame. Okay, let's talk about fees for a second. 
I know it's pressing on your mind. I know you're wondering how much it's going to cost if we accept your case, how much your insurance covers, how much your out-of-pocket expense is going to be. So let's talk about it for a minute. Now, my staff has probably spent about 20 to 30 minutes on the phone with your insurance company trying to verify exactly what uh, portions of your care will be covered and what won't be covered. So we're very diligent on that side. We're trying to get as much coverage for you as possible. Now we do know this, as your insurance won't cover all the procedures that most likely we'll be doing with you. If they do, then fantastic, but like I've said in previous videos, don't plan on them covering everything. Um, but how we structure our fee schedule is I do what they call a case fee, which means I will work with you for a time frame, which means it's usually a three months or six month time frame. Um, I discount all my fees and it's just a set price. So if I need to see more visits during that time frame, it's no additional cost. If I need to do additional procedures during the, the program, it's no additional cost. But that's a brief overview of how we handle our fees and then uh, we'll uh, have your report of findings in just a minute.